All right, so building on a previous video, we want to talk a little bit now about integration and how, from a cloud native perspective, it's so important to be able to integrate all of those X's and Y's that your organization has and the ones that you are going to be adding on the road to becoming cloud native. An important thing also to mention here is that visibility uh, is very, very important for high functioning orgs. Visibility of your work, visibility of your data points. And a fantastic aspect of working with Ansible is just how easy it is to make even things like playbook runs highly visible. And so within just a few minutes here, we're gonna be able to show Ansible beginning to integrate with Slack and uh, you know just how straightforward it is, not really needing the equivalent of like a, a PhD in Ansible to start doing really good things with it. And we did talk about you know a little uh, a little bit about this in a previous video, but you know just in terms of the overall module support, it's one of the big ways that people tend to work with Ansible is through third-party and community-provided modules. And so the Slack module that we'll be covering here is one of those. Just in terms of visibility before we dive in to the, the actual Slack demo aspect of this is just to say that when, when I look at across the, the board and working with clients and so forth, the number of playbook runs, the number of app releases and so forth uh, just keeps growing on an almost exponential basis year over year. And so the, the visibility of the average Ansible playbook run is very low actually. And it's the type of thing that you can certainly look in logs to find when an Ansible playbook ran. You can certainly look in things like the Ansible automation platform to walk through that history. But sometimes in terms of just wanting to know in real time what's going on, uh, we find that things like Slack are a little bit superior to having to go into yet another dashboard or looking in email where there might be you know, quite a bit of, of noise uh, versus signal. Um, and so, you know, Slack really does uh, tend to, to be favored by infrastructure and development teams. Um, and so if we can bring greater visibility into the playbook runs that we're doing uh, into Slack channels that are, are parsable and, and understandable, we're able to, you know, address a lot of that, uh, that need, that pent up demand that there is to know what's going on in terms of, you know, when are we making changes? When are we doing things, especially against um, specific types of playbooks that may have more impact uh, to the underlying infrastructure the developers are using, for instance. Uh, great opportunity to just you know, do more here from an integration standpoint and have it be yet another thing where when we talk about our tools enforcing our processes, if our process says that we should be notifying developers through Slack when we are making changes through Ansible playbook runs, it's really better to use a module that just automatically does that with whatever details we care about. So diving into this, um, we'll look at, you know, first of all, we're going to go ahead and create an app uh, within Slack. And so we'll just call this uh, Ansible demo as the app. Um, we need to, sorry, we need to go ahead and choose the workspace that we're using. Next, we need to enable incoming webhooks. These are currently off. And we'll go ahead and add a new webhook to um, our, our app uh, and, and really to the channel that we're working in. So I'm going pretty quickly here, but you should be able to see in general that I have created this webhook for the DevOps channel. And what I'm able to do here is I'll go ahead and carve out this one that I made last time. And I'll go ahead and I'll just take the same uh, verbiage here. And actually, let me go ahead and do this here first. I'll be deleting this app and of course the associated token before we publish this video, but just to give you kind of an idea of how it would work. We have that going for us. So now what we can do is um, go ahead and run the uh, Enhanceable playbook uh, as, as we're calling out here, just you know, something basic that'll just notify the DevOps channel. So we'll go ahead and run that. And with any luck, uh, what it should do is you can see that, and, and we had actually done this a, a previous time, but you can see that we went ahead and added the integration to this channel and we created a test message. Um, and so this can um, be 
uh, incremented if that's what we want to do. Um, and we've also got just, you know, a variety of, of options here around um, other other functionality that we can uh, introduce into into this. There are a number of examples here in the Slack module documentation that would uh, you know be beneficial. It, various options around being able to do threading. So if you're doing, let's say, um, you know, many playbook runs against many hosts, you might want to thread something. You might want to be able to include even you know simple things like emoji, um, maybe maybe a thumbs up or you know something else like that. But what we're really doing here is we're you know just very very quickly we're taking things that are more or less available to us just as users of Ansible and we're starting to make things better in the environment and within you know really just a few mouse clicks here about 10 lines of Ansible code we're bringing greater visibility to the org we're going from you know potentially some confusion to you know quite a bit of clarity about who's doing what and when and um, you know we're Ideally, we're finding a, a receptive audience, one that is is interested in um, in the type of work that we're executing in the environment, and is looking in uh, you know something like a single pane of glass from a messaging standpoint, uh, and and that certainly uh, tends to be better in 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 bringing that visibility.